my son made me this smoothie, put it in a Olaf cup. I thought it was pretty nice. It's good too. It's hot out, so it's keeping me nice and refreshed. So I just wanted to let you all know that I'm making some progress on the Sloppy O Copy book two. I have a title, well, a working title right now, which I'll probably release here soon. I got, I got my first draft officially typed up. And actually I did that, it was August 6th. And I know that because it was the day after Charlie's birthday, which was August 5th. I created the character of Charlie and, and the, the sloppy o copy story on August 5th, 2012. Wrote it in my journal and he just turned six. Pretty cool. So it's awesome. And here coming up soon in a few months in October, uh, the book will have been out for one year. So Charlie six, the book's not quite one yet. But working on book two, and I'm going to be going back through the draft, making some, some changes, and then send it to my editor for her to mark up for me. So I'm going to do that. I also have a few other stories that I've been working on that I'm trying to knock out as well. Um, so I'm trying to dedicate time to spend on each one, okay? And that's hard for me, as I've stated before in a previous video. I'm, I'm good at getting it like 80% done. It's taken to 100, which is tough for me. So I'm trying to stay disciplined and scheduled and making it happen. Um, you know, there's, I don't know what the, what the answer is for getting things done when it comes to writing. There's... There's people who do it all sorts of different ways. I do know one thing. I started out thinking that I could only write when I was inspired. And I quickly learned after being told uh, by my mentor, Claire, that writing is something like 90% perspiration and only 10% inspiration. And she challenged me and she said, Go back and read what you've written when you were inspired and then go back and read what you wrote when you weren't inspired, but you just put the work in anyway and you won't be able to tell a difference. I was like, no way, that, that can't be true. Well, I gave it a whirl and sure enough, she was right. So that's, what, that's my encouragement to you. If you're trying to write, you know, yeah, you might only be waiting for you to be inspired when you're going to go sit down and write sure inspiration can come and that's when you get the ideas and you jot them down and all that stuff but if you don't put in the perspiration it's just going to be an idea so that helped me take an idea and turn it into a book just that simple fact alone instead of just waiting around for the you know lightning to strike my brain and the moment to come and to go up and, and write I decided to take the inspired idea that I've had and that I started working on and to go and just make it happen. And I'm really glad I did that. So go write if you're someone who wants to write a book and you're waiting for inspiration. Ain't gonna happen. Just go write. I don't know if you could hear the cicadas are pretty loud. And remind me that uh, I recently wrote a poem for the Salisbury Zoo. At their story time, they were telling me they were going to have the animal of the week was going to be a cicada bug. And they said, hey, like they, they were trying to find like a poem or a story about cicadas to tell the kids. So they kind of challenged me. Can, can you write a poem about a cicada? I took on the challenge and I wrote a poem. So... Why not? I'll go ahead and, and post that poem in the comments below. It's, it really just kind of came to me as I sat down and forced myself to make something up about a cicada. 
So check that out. Check out our social media sites. Share the video. Check out the book. See you next week. Who, what, where, when? Looking for clues till it all makes sense. Left, right, up, down. So many answers to be found.